Well, in the event that, um, again, in the event that the, uh, the, the psi phenomena is right or what have you, or the psi studies, then theoretically speaking, this programmer, God, what have you, could have, um, could have actually put in a, um, put in a, a mediation effect in the source code, which allowed for the, uh, the self-aware beings to tap the direct source code themselves um, to a limited effect, you know, within the laws of quantum mechanics or something like that, or micro buildup, and um, be able to influence certain things. Now, the again, that would be another example of how we were made in God's image. The hint being that, um, again, assuming that uh, the book says we were made in God's image, well, not all these prophetic gifts or anything else would have to be given directly by God. But on the other hand, it is possible that um, every single one of the prophets, the Christ and what have you, were talking directly with the source code or, or were gleaning their stuff and had a little bit of God in them or what have you, and were able to, um, you know, were able to tap this psi capability or this micro you know, this, maybe this other format of, of being made in God's image. Again, a comparison, you know, being able to wish what you will to compare to what God's programming source code abilities would be. Now, the thing about this is the fact that, um, you know, if Global Consciousness Project is correct, then when a certain group of number of minds would be able to influence, they would still only be able to influence them on the micro level. Maybe deviation away from chance, maybe even able to help things that might be on the micro level, but they wouldn't be able to influence anything above, say, even maybe the chemical level. So here's the point. Say, for example, somebody has cancer, or say, for example, somebody has, um, you know, uh, a, a really bad wound or something like that, but not an amputee, um, or maybe reiki or, or, or some other disease or what have you. Well, you know, not counting those cases which have a placebo effect or something like that, if there is a side phenomenon, then it might be theoretically possible for a group of people to focus on one patient with cancer or something like that and help and aid the healing process in addition to the chemotherapy or whatever else by... Um, you know, influencing some of the chemical processes or stunting some of the chemical rates which would cause the uh, expansion of the tumor cells. You know, psychokinetic effect on, on some bio-living systems. Through this Heisenberg uncertainty principle, through a, you know, through a micro-psychokinetic effect. On the other hand, healing and amputation would be a macroscopic law, and that would be based on physics, not chemistry. Um, you know, and that would be, you know, that would be based on macro-level physics, and that would be where psi phenomena would wheedle out, courtesy of other physical laws that would take precedent over psi which um, would also be in the system. So that would be a reason as to why God would not heal amputees, solve world problems and the like. But on the other hand, the human race would have more than enough capability in the, si in the, um, you know, in the system to, you know, to solve world problems, you know, hunger and the like. And I suspect that what, a pro what the problem is, is that, you know, if Christianity is real, which again, like I said, I'm skeptical, but I, you know, assuming we follow this argument through to its logical conclusion, Christianity would be real. Maybe Jesus did come down and die to save our sins because of the fact that um, it was it was sort of an attempt to make people more aware of what they could do. Um, you know, uh, what was it? Um, Jesus said, uh, "Neither it doesn't matter whether someone worships at the synagogue or the um, or the uh, or the place." Uh, Jesus, uh, for I shall worship it. For uh, this is the age of spirit, and the true believer will worship in spirit and in truth, or something like that. He was saying that's the women of the well. Well, in spirit and in truth means that maybe people were meant to discover the truth, you know, the logic and all that. Anyway, um, that's just my thoughts. I'm just trying to play devil's advocate for the um, Christian church here. Just thought it would be fun. Um, I'd like to see what people have to say on it. Um, I know it's a little jumbled, but I am trying to condense this video as quickly as possible. Um, I could, if people want a message, I could break the full thing out what I'm thinking in terms of probably like a three. It would probably take over the span of like a 10-page essay or something like that, or probably more. Probably, I have enough. I have enough info in here for this for probably like a full book on this, but this is the condensed info anyway. So, like I said, tell me what you think of it. I'll drop comments on what have you. And um, so this guy I'm replying to, challenge for Christians, and drop a comment on my video and tell me what you think. Hope you like it. In the meantime, if, uh, you know, uh, like I said, this is just me playing devil's advocate. Um, if it does make sense, and I inadvertently made a, a good argument for Christianity, um, a coherent argument and a tight one for Christianity. Um, then crap, I've got to convert. <laughs> um, if not, um, you know, uh, if I managed to make it, um, if I didn't, then um, let me know because that means it, that means one uh, that means one more argument I can debunk on the side of uh, some of the more uh, advanced Christians I've met. Um, you know, I've got one more I can debunk. Um, so yeah, do let me know.